Providence students leading a two-day walkout. They're asking for more counselors and mental health professionals in schools instead of school resource officers. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones was there. She joins us now with more on their demands and how the governor is responding. Chelsea. The counselors, not cops, walkout brought dozens of students and advocates outside of the school department this afternoon. Attendees say they want school resource officers out of schools and they want more money for mental health resources. But Governor Dan McKee says he doesn't support that fully. We don't need cops in our schools. We don't need guns in our schools. We need actual safety that isn't rooted in our oppression. Let's go! Despite the rain, dozens of students and advocates hit the pavement, marching for school resource officers to be taken out of schools. Removing SROs and reallocating that funding into more services and mental health counselors in these schools because that is what our schools need. Here is video from an incident back in 2018. A federal lawsuit claims in the video you see here, a Narragansett SRO slams a student to the ground and chokes him. This is allegedly sparked after an offensive gesture by the student. Student. But it's incidents like this these students are trying to avoid. They say there needs to be more mental health resources. I think that we need to be clear that, you know, we don't want these people who are funding to become, you know, pseudo cops, right? When we say we want mental health support on police calls, it doesn't mean we want a, a cop who got to 30 hours of, like, you know, psychiatry training. We want an actual mental health professional. Our, my position has been very strongly to keep the SROs in the schools. We want counselors, not cops. The governor says his administration is working with law enforcement, the Department of Ed, and the mayor's office to address these concerns. There's always a need to improve and reset that community relationships. Uh, so we're, we're in the process of, of uh, doing that. And if we need to redefine it in some way to create a, a better connection uh, with our students, with our families, we'll do that. But students and advocates believe SROs play a role in the school to prison pipeline, and they say there are several negative impacts. Anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, and just so many like mental health conditions. There are currently eight school resource officers in Providence schools. Governor Dan McKee says now is the time to bring the police and the community together, not apart. The second walkout is happening tomorrow, same time and place. I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.